Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to follow up on something you said a moment ago. You said that there's no, no circumstances where American citizens cannot get to the airport. <laughs> That doesn't really square with the images we're seeing around the airport with the reporting on the ground from our colleagues who are describing chaos and violence. Are you saying unequivocally that any American who wants to get to the airport is getting there and getting past the security barrier and to the planes where they uh, want to go? I thought the question was, how can they get through to the airport outside the airport? And the answer is, to the best of our knowledge, the Taliban checkpoints, they are letting through people showing American passports. Now, that's a different question when they get into the rush and crowd of all the folks just outside the wall near the airport. That's why we had to, I guess, yet was it yesterday or the day before, we went over the wall and brought in how many? 169 Americans. So it is a process to try to figure out how we, how we um, deal with the mad rush of non-Americans, those who didn't help, those who were not on the priority list, just any Afghan, any Afghan to be able to get out of the country. And so my guess is that no matter what, under what circumstances we, anyone, there's not a whole lot of Afghanis, uh, uh, there's a whole lot of Afghanis that just as soon come to America, whether there are any involvement with the United States in the past at all, rather than stay under Taliban rule or any, any, any rule. So what I was saying is that we have an agreement that they will let pass through the checkpoints that they, the Taliban, control and let Americans through.